Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm very excited. I'm gonna be reacting to some more songs by Tan. Uh, I reacted to them a couple weeks ago for the very first time. If you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. I did a little mini marathon because I wanted to check out Hypertonic and I'd heard of them a little bit, but I had never reacted to them. So I loved it. I was very impressed with everything especially the vocals, the visuals. I appreciated that they had a more like sexy, mature, you know, I just liked the vibe and the songs were great. So I'm back with, I guess, another little marathon, I guess, uh, with the songs that you suggested in the comments. So we're gonna do Walking on the Moon, Beautiful Lie, Fix You, and Violet. Uh, I believe all of these are music videos. Yeah, none of them say performance video. So I'm very excited to check it out. Definitely out of all of these, Walking on the Moon, I think was the most commented, as well as Fix You was probably second. So I'm very excited to check this out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Um, yeah, this is only the second time I've reacted to them, so I don't know any of the members' names yet. Um, it's funny, because if I show you what's on my screen right now, and I scroll down a little bit, like this is the video that's like right underneath the, so it's like, hey, do you wanna watch a guide? No, not yet. Let me check out these songs first. So anyway, I'm excited. Um, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. I already got it on the screen, so I'm just gonna press play. This is, do you hear that beeping? Hold on, I think that's Amazon. <laughs> Hold on. All right, sorry, before we were rudely interrupted, uh, this is Tan walking on the moon. Let's go. Oh, I love the color of that font. <laughs> it's random, but... Oh, I love those colors. What is this? W series, what's that? Okay, so I know there's like a storyline or something and they're aliens or, or something. Um, oh, I also, before, I also know that um, this song is iconic and it was in a, they put it in a time capsule and like launched it into space. I think it's like one of the first song. I don't, I don't know if that's true or not. Like one of the first songs, they might've already done that. Might be the first K-pop song to be put in. Either way, it's iconic and it was in a time capsule and they put it in space. <laughs> Oh. Be telling together, your baby you didn't run any attention. Oh, this beat. Light is the feather, so get to the kill in a new dimension. Yeah, look at me. We're looking. That little, that high note, that little flip he just did, that was beautiful. Hey. He's very cute with the red hair. Oh. Hey. The way the guy in the center, where the way his hips went, snap. He that was a little extra sassy, sir. <laughs> Who's that? I only see his backside. Um, the one, this one right here. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. Who's that? And look at how sassy that snap was. <laughs> Slay. Oh, 
Hey Houston, we ain't got a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love that. I think in the last reaction to them, I don't remember if it was this group or not. It might have been a different group now that I'm thinking about it. Did I complain in the last 10 reaction that there wasn't enough rap? I might have. Or that could have been a different group. But that rap flow was, that was great. Oh, he's good. Ooh. Oh, I just saw a face that made me smile. I think that's the guy I really liked in the last reaction, wasn't it? This guy right here on the left with the white and blue. I don't know. For some reason, I just saw his face and then I smiled. And then I remembered. I think he's the member that I really liked in the last one. Because I can't explain it. Sometimes you just see somebody's face, even if you don't know the group or whatever. Sometimes you just see someone and they just make you smile and you can't really explain why. That's kind of the reaction I had. <laughs> he must be a cat. He does not like that water. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the rainbow and then the way he's looking at him. Okay. I was gonna say, look at his little snatched waist, and then uh, I got distracted, and I, I don't think the words actually came out of my mouth, but these outfits are iconic. Uh, oh. The visuals. My guess would be he would be like the main visual, cause very handsome. But honestly, they all are very handsome. Oh, I like his tone. It's different. His voice really stands out. That, that's iconic. Just that moment with him counting down, looking like that with the black nail polish and the, the, that's the main visual too. We're all, wait, he doesn't have nail polish on. Does that mean anything? See what I mean? He's got nail polish on like, not on these two but then on those two and not what main visual also Ooh. uh So are they like homesick looking at the telescope, looking at, cause they're like from another planet, right? Someone was telling me a little bit like about their storyline.
Because I think I picked up on that on my first reaction. I was like, yeah, they're aliens, right? Like they're coming to save the planet or whatever. But then like also just having dance parties with random people. Um, that song, let me be honest about that song. That song, especially that chorus, that's like one of the best choruses like I've heard in a long time. It just hits and it's smooth, but it's also incredibly catchy, very sensual. Uh, that song is just really good. And then in the music video, I don't know exactly what was happening. Because it seems like they were students, but like, I don't know their ages, but I feel like they're all older. Like mid-20s, maybe? I don't think they're super young, so maybe this is a college? Um, and oh, they had the tape thing. They're hanging out. They're dancing. Playing basketball. Oh, we had our little BL uh, romance drama situation that's what this looked like to me um this looked like yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. that's the vibe i was getting with that um which i'm here for obviously but then he's like Wah. yeah someone's got to explain this story of this music video to me because i wasn't sure but it doesn't really matter because not understanding a storyline does not take away from my enjoyment of the song at all and that song is incredible. I loved it. So smooth. Everything that I pointed out about them in the last reaction, that song did perfectly. It was smooth. It was sexy. The vocals were amazing. The choreography was great. Uh, they looked incredible. Like, that was just amazing. So very good start to the music video. Let's move on to the next song. All right, next up is a Beautiful Lie. And it says E-N-G, like in brackets. So... I'm assuming it's like the English version of the song or the song is in English or there's just English caption. I don't know. Let's go. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait, do I know him? With the pink hair, it was... He looks incredibly familiar. I mean, I know this is the second time I've reacted to him, to the group, so <laughs> it might just be that his face is standing out to me. But I also, I don't know, his face just looks familiar. Oh, he hit that choreo. <laughs> What? <laughs> Give you that what? Oh. Are 
Okay, so what is he doing? <laughs> What's he doing on the luggage rack? This is one of those things that gets like more chaotic the longer you look at it. Like at first I just saw him laying there with like laying there, but then he's got the thing. He's got the luggage on his feet. And then this guy back here is like cracking up and it, it's just a mess. Oh. Powerful. Okay. <laughs> I saw that tongue, sir. They killed that choreo. Yeah, that's what carbs will do to you. <laughs> His vocals really stood out to me. Um, which one? Which one? Oh, I probably went way too far back. I went too far back again. That's crazy. Him in the middle, I think. His vocals were definitely... He's the one I said had the powerful voice, right? Definitely standing out to me in this song. Yeah, him. That dance break is so good. Or not break, but you know what I mean. This is very good. That was very good. And then they passed out, and then there's UFOs crash landing. So people are writing news articles about them, and they're just sleeping in the diner. So that was very good. I liked that. Um, I don't think I liked it as much as Walking on the Moon. But it was good. It was really good. It was fun. It was a bop. It was, I think it was more bright and like upbeat and cheery. Um, whereas Walking on the Moon was more of like that smooth, like R&B vibe that I really like that they, that they do. Um, but that song was very good as well. It's just after hearing Walking on the Moon first, you know what I mean? If I had started with Beautiful Life first, I would have been like, oh my gosh, that was a bop, which it is. But um, yeah, that's a rough transition <laughs> going from Walking on the Moon to anything probably because I love Walking on the Moon so much and I've only heard it one time. Uh, we're going to move on to Fix You. This one was requested a lot specifically for the vocals. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be a slower song or what, but I'm very excited. All right, this is Fix You. Okay, well, sir. <laughs> Fix You. Mission. Oh. Forever. Ooh. Oh, his smile. Oh, 
That vocal was very pretty. Very expensive. Very pretty. <laughs> imagine it would be very hard to dance in the sand <laughs> like i'm just thinking about that also he kind of looks um like not exactly but it might be the it might be the jaw and the eyes and the bone structure he kind of looks a little bit like kihyun here uh monster x is it just me? It might just be me. It could be the hair and the eyes and the jaw. Could you see a little bit of like Kihyun a little bit? Maybe. Very pretty. <laughs> His dimples. Oh, that leg movement. Okay, so one thing about the song is definitely throwing me off and it's a me problem. It's not a problem with the song and I don't know what it is, but like the little ooh part, it's reminding me of a Britney Spears song. And I can't think of which one it is, but it's like a recent one. And I can't think of what it is, but the vocal, the way that the vocal is processed in almost like an electronic way, it's kind of reminding me of that song. But just on the ooh part. This part. His facial expressions were very good. Wait, there's no aliens. <laughs> In the last one, there were the little aliens underneath there. Um, I really liked that. That was very pretty. 
I could see why people um, suggested that one for the vocals because it was definitely a different vibe. I really enjoyed it. That music video was gorgeous. And I especially loved like the choreo moments at the end. But yeah, so far I've loved all of these songs. Uh, next up is going to be Violet, which is, um, it says Japan pre-debut mini album. So this is, a, I guess, a Japanese uh, music video, which hopefully doesn't get blocked, but I'm excited to check it out. All right, last up for today, Violet. Let's go. Oh, there's no captions on this one. Okay. Oh. Hello? <laughs> oh no, I don't have any words at the bottom of the screen to distract me. So I gotta like just look at them <laughs> and like listen to it. <laughs> Yo, I gotta do a Yo. I really like him. So. Oh, the chest pop, aggressive. What is this choreography? I love the guitar. Ooh. <laughs> what are these no what is this instrumental? He, he's uh appreciating his jawline, I guess, um, very closely. <laughs> oh, that's a crazy camera angle. Okay, so it's a sweet song? See, because I don't have lyrics. I've only understood I will never let you go, but then it's also sounding like very sexy. That was very good. I feel like that was the most straightforward out of these like songs and a music video, honestly. Um, I've noticed that a lot of times Japanese releases will have like a more a more simple music video, a more like lower budget or whatever, and usually a lot less views. I think it just is what it is with Japanese tracks. Um, but I really liked that. I liked that it had a more rocky sound. I'll have to look up the lyrics later, but um, that one is definitely very like straightforward, but still catchy. I could definitely see this getting stuck in my head. Um, I think after watching two 
two reactions. I do have a favorite member, but I don't know any of their personalities and everything yet. So it's really just favorite in terms of like visual and like personality and stuff that's coming across on video. Uh, and it's got to be this guy. It's got to be him. I really, I don't know something about him. I just really like it. It's what it is. Uh, and then I like the rapper guy too. The one that was like uh, standing on top of us. And the camera was like, point, yeah, him. Uh, I like him a lot too. I feel like these four songs, he um, maybe just the song showcased his rapping a little bit more. I really like that. Just noticed the tattoos on his arm. Love that. Uh, and then like everyone else was amazing. Um, I definitely pointed, I feel like in the past, in the last video and in this video, I feel like I pointed out every single member, like at least once, uh, for different reasons. Definitely a lot of really cool vocal moments and a lot of, is this the guy that had the short hair in the one music video? I really like him too. Um, but anyway, they're really good. I like them. These were four amazing songs. I do still think that Walking on the Moon is going to be my favorite after listening to all these songs again. But um, Fix You was great. Beautiful Eye was amazing. Violet was great as well. Um, I'll, have to, I'll have to listen to it a couple more times because like I said, it was very straightforward. Um, but I enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Let me know your thoughts. Any other tan suggestions you have for me, let me know. I might react to a guide. Um, this one by Ashley Epidemic is, I don't know anything about it, um, but it's just like what was recommended by YouTube algorithm. So if it's a good one, let me know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Bye.